Hello, I'm back and I'm playing Drill Dozers tonight. How you doing, babe? Yes, I'm back. How you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Today was Doctor Who Day, my friend's server, so we watched Doctor Who. I love Doctor Who. Oh, I thought that was Mario Kart music you were playing. I'm doing good. No, that wasn't Mario Kart music. No, I'm gonna play Drill Dozers. It's the game I'm playing tonight. Okay, let me get the game ready. That song is from a uh, holiday special I think is really funny that I used to watch growing up. That was about deer, so I thought, hey, that's fitting. Sounded like Rainbow Road. Yeah, it does. I guess it does a little bit. It's from an obscure holiday special called Robbie the Reindeer I thought was funny growing up. And I'm like, hey, I'm a deer, so I'm going to use that song. And And, you know... I'm like a spacey themed deer, and it's like talk about like going to the moon or whatever. So like, if I thought it fit, All right, we're gonna get the game up. First time playing this, it's like a Game Boy Advanced game. Yeah, yeah, I'm from space. Technically, I'm not an alien. I was created on Earth, but like the uh, wizard wizards thought I was weird and chucked me into space. <laughs> but I'm coming back. Sorry, it's dumb. Let's see. Back. Let's see. Okay, here it is. Core scaler set up the game. Wizards ain't <laughs> dear. <laughs> yeah, technically it wasn't me, but it was just my species. They're like, yeah, this is weird. And they chucked us into space because we're a crime against nature. Deers in space, yeah, technically Laura, I am in space. But I'm not a, I'm technically not an alien. I'm, I guess you'd say I'm a magic mutant. I don't know. I like combinating sci-fi and magic. Because I think it's goofy. <laughs> Let's let me see if I remember how to do this. There you go, there it is. Okay. Drilled over drill dozers is open. And we got in the disc. In, not this card, the OBS. Yo, Kirby Cat. What you doing, buddy? How you doing, Kataro? He's only saying he's not an alien so that we can trust him. No. I mean, if you were born on Earth, like your species, and then you, like, built a civilization on another planet, and, like, I'm a descendant, would that make me an alien? You, even though I originated from Earth? These are like some serious questions. Let's see. Uh, audio. Probably gotta turn the audio down a little bit because these old games kind of are a little loud. So I'm gonna turn the game audio down a smidge. Yes, I'm still technically an alien. I guess you're right. Damn, some legit. Yes, look at screen. Well, it's a Game Boy game. Ah! I ignore that. This is ignore my Game Boy is a little bugged. <laughs> control it. Okay, control it. Okay. Let me know if the game's a little loud, because I know it's like well, these retro games kind of are a little bit loud sometimes. They didn't make your Game Boys fully updated, yeah. Okay. I googled a list of uh, best Game Boy Advance games. This came up, and then someone in chat randomly recommended it, so I'm like, oh, there you go. Great job getting such a clear picture of your Game Boy D a screen, yeah. It's a little Dakota secret how it's done. Looks like we're here! The Red Diamond, those evil skulkers stole from us, has to be in this hideout. They're probably waiting for you, so watch yourself in there. Damn, my Game Boy player screen doesn't even look that good. 
Don't worry about it. No worry. Deer magic, exactly. Space deer magic. I ha I'm in space. I have a higher advanced Game Boy DS game player. Guillermo and I will be supporting you from back here at the trailer. Call us with your drill dozers com system if you get into trouble. Heh, don't sweat it. Gretch, she can take care of herself. Alright, let's go. The Forgotten Area 51 Game Boy Player. Well, I'm not in Area 51 yet. I'm still lost in space, but I'm slowly making my way to Earth. <laughs> oh, damn it, I dropped my water bottle of lead. Well, I have to drink this bottle of water quick. I'm not putting that lead back on. Are you okay, boss? Hey, little Kirby cat. How's it in space? It's cold. <laughs> cold and lonely. You must have. You must have sprung a skulker trap trap and fallen into a pit. Is your drill dozer still in one piece? Sounds right, yeah. <laughs> I'm alone in space. They sent me alone with the... Basically, in lore, we built a uh, portal technology, but it has. I have to put a, the other end on Earth, so I was chosen to go to Earth. But I think they picked me because they didn't like me. <laughs> Is your drill dozer still in one piece? Boss! Can you hear me, boss? You're still inside your drill dozer, aren't you? What? You're not? We've got to get you back to your dozer. Hmm, you can still hear me, right? That means it has to be close by. Hop back into it. Alright, get in the dozer. And yet, the Japans worship cat people, yet not deer people in America. Yeah. Funny enough, I saw like a trailer for an anime about a deer girl. So like they made an anime about me, except I'm a deer boy. <laughs> but I actually have my own anime. It takes a lot more than a nasty fall to take a drill dozer out of commission. Just listen to that engine purr. I built it myself. I see a lot of like VTubers uh, quote retreat like, oh my god, they made an anime about us. Finally, us deer people can feel represented in an anime we watch. It's kind of funny. No, it's like not in English, so I don't know what the anime is about. Deer Revolution, yeah. Just listen to that engine purr. I built it myself. I tighten every screw and grease every gear. It won't let you down. But you're going to have to find a way back to the surface. I'm surprised you get service in space. Yeah. I, I, I think my spaceship is built on like an old uh, television satellite that we that crash landed from Earth and I'm able to pick up TV and uh, computer signals and I've been learning, studying. Like I was also because I'm a deer, I'm like a deer in the headlights, but on the TV screen. <laughs> I can fix you back. I can fix you up back at the trailer. Just do whatever it takes to get out of there. You're tough, boss. Show them what you've got. Your drill dozer is still working, so you should be able to get out of there. Why don't you snoop around a little? Alright, can I go this way? Okay, okay can't drill there. Before VTubing, I wanted to try doing YouTube reviews or talk about stuff I like, so I made my lore uh, fit with 
just in case I decided to ever do it to fit with like me watching and reviewing shows. Like I'm in space watching TV. Let's see, press R to spin your drill. Okay. Press and hold R or L to rev up your drill. Max out power, okay? Okay, remember to keep drill power gauges maxed out. Okay. Why isn't it working? Thank you for the head pets. Why isn't it working? There we go. You can even drill stuff above and below you. Now get out there and try it. All right. Okay. Whoa there, boss. Are you feeling a little dizzy? A little bit. You're probably still a little woozy from that fall. You'll be all right. Your drill dozer can shred through these old walls like wet paper. You go wild and drill right through this wall in front of you. Okay, we got this. Speed run. Woo. Imagine being an evil villain and you come back to see your lair was raided and there's just like walls and holes everywhere. Like, what the fuck are you going on? Oh. Oh boy. Oh. Oh joy. What do we have here? Sorry to bother you. Oh boy, you go with that means chat. Get banned, robot. Fuck you, robot. You fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, we hate what you do, and we hate your whole crew, so please don't stay in touch. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you very, very much. Please stay in touch. Uh, uh, fuck you. We do not tolerate robots in my chat. Robots can go fuck themselves. Yep, I made that because I was tired of robots. I am constantly harassed by them on Twitter. By harassed, I mean they just spam follow me. <laughs> so, like, I made that. Boss, you're inside the Skulker hideout. Keep on busting through their base, but watch out for traps. Okay. Hello, Nami. You just missed me banning a robot. How you doing? I just started. Ooh, stuff. If you need help, press select and press the A button to read the help file. Yeah, yeah I know you recommended this. You know, I looked, I think I mentioned it. I looked up a list of best Game Boy games, and then you mentioned it. Like, oh, that's two reasons to pick this game. So, okay, I'll play this one. I think this is Game Freak, right? So, like, I'm thank you for the head pet. This is, like, Game Freak, I think. Imagine if they made more original games instead of just Pokemon like this. They, ne they would never. Hey, Jill. Let me tell you real quick about that self-repairing barrier up ahead. The Skulkers keep their hideout heavily guarded. Self-repairing barriers? What are you babbling about? I'm saying, things can repair itself even when it's being drilled. Hello, Clock. Welcome. I'm playing Drill Dozers for the first time. How you doing? You're gonna ha you're gonna have to upgrade your Drill Dozers gear to drill through it. Luckily for you, there's a gearbox nearby. Look around for a bright red box. Okay. That looks like a red box. Get up there. Doing good. Just got some McDonald's. Nice. I just came home from Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> so 
so sick of Walmart. I wish there was a Target. I miss Target. <laughs> Space Mart, yes. Space Mart Depot. You just found another gear. Way to go. Hey, are you paying attention? Shifting up to another gear adds a lot of power to drill your drill. You miss Big K Kmart? Kmart was cool too, though the Kmart I have was kind of gross inside. So like I don't really have that many good memories of Kmart other than it's just kind of like a smaller, grosser Walmart. But like it is it had some neat stuff. Like, they, I think they refused to update their computers, so they had, like, outdated, like, computer, like, ATMs, and they would constantly break, so there'd be long lines. Because <laughs> it was, they couldn't afford getting new ca cash registers. But Kmart was cool. I wish there was more options of places to go, even though they're all basically the same store. When your drill is spinning, press R at just the right time to shift. When you see shift, press R again. See, remember to press R when you. Okay. You have to. Okay. Oh, I messed up. But I got pretty good. Learning to shift is important. It's easily your most powerful weapon. Don't worry if you're not great at it. Now, you'll get better at it as you go. I mean, that's nice of the game, too. Like, it is kind of tricky to remember that. Like, I, I messed around a little bit to see if I liked the game. And, like, it is a little tricky, so that was nice of them to say, like, Oh, it's okay if you suck at it, You're, you'll get better. That's nice. If you forget how to do anything, press select. And then press the A button to read the help file. Okay. Nice work. You drilled right through that barrier. Your new gear will have your have you destroying stuff even faster than usual. You should keep your drill spinning even while you're moving around. That way, you can protect yourself from incoming bullets. Gotcha. Okay, so just hold it. Oh. Do I need to go in here? Kind of fun doing voices, but it makes my mouth get dry really dry and sore really quick, so I probably should stop. A young girl with a drill dozer has broken into our hideout. Don't let her anywhere near the factory on the surface. Oh shit, get lost. One second, Nami. Oh, get out of here. This game gets hard later on, and I assure you, you're gonna need to take some bosses one step at a time. Oh, God. I'm sure I'll figure it out. If things get too difficult, I'll just Google. Because <laughs> I'm a cheater. I want to get rid of that. Okay, die. Can I get that? Okay. What's over here? See that metal block? It's made of some kind of super strong alloy. If things get too difficult, I'll crease they're Jordans. No. <laughs> I bet these these villains, their Jordans are fake though. <laughs> Let's see, your drill does their standard drill won't even scratch it. 
Shifting up won't help either, so don't bother. We're gonna have to find another way around. Gotcha. <laughs> they're Brordens. Oh no, they're 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 walking around with their Brordens. Wait, can I break this wall? No. No, this way. Die. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Boop. Almost died. Boop. I want to get that. I'll take that. In there. It's making me think of that meme where it's like, Hey! He's wearing them fake J's! Get him! We're just destroying all their stuff. Can I break that? Can I break your shirt? No. Yeah, try and shit now, villains. kinds of crazy lifts in this factory. See that one above you? It's called a socket lift. Drill into the socket. You'll latch onto it as long as you spin your drill. Okay. Here it is. Can't. Gotta wait for him. Come here, Stinky. Perfect. Okay, we're doing good. No one here? Come here. Alright. Okay. Can I break that, please? Maybe I shouldn't have broken that yet. Come here, come here. Okay, I'm gonna go this way first. Okay. What's over here? Okay, I can't break this yet. Okay, I gotta come back. This looks like the exit, but they're block they've blocked it all. You'll need to a third gear to drill through that barrier like butter. Okay, let's look for the let's look for it. Is it this way? Get in there. Okay, let's go. Okay. Is it up here somewhere? Not here. Okay, this doesn't look like the right place. Okay, you don't drill butter though. I mean, in this world they might. I mean, we don't know what the, what's drillable in this world. Okay, this world is, this doesn't look like I need to be in here yet. Can I get in there, please? Thank you. The other way? Is it in here? I'm gonna go this way, because I don't think there's anything in there yet. Oh, this way. Gotcha.
Didn't anyone have butter fairies when they were growing up? Someone in my house used to do this thing where they'd poke they'd they they'd stick their they'd stick their fingers in the butter and say they were butter fairy footprints, and butter fairies look like tiny elephants. Trials and errors of the Tear Boy. It was just like something like like Santa or the Tooth Fairy, except I guess it's just normal. The butter fairy or butter elephant. Maybe it was the butter fan. I don't remember. They, they, someone would stick their fingers in the butter and blame it on the butter fairy, like an elephant walking in our butter. So is it this way now? Okay, still not yet. This was okay. I already read this. What in the Sumitose fluff? I think it was a sibling did it, and then I guess like parents just played along. Like, yeah, it's the the butter fan. The butter fairy elephant. Now there was another thing, uh Mr. Appear. Where he just knock on he was an invisible man who would knock on our door, and like when you open the door, there would be like donuts and a gallon of milk. And you'd be like, thank hey, you, Mr. Up here. The ghost that brought us donuts. Let's see. Wait, is it? Oh, I got it. I'm dumb. It's over here. Break that open. God damn it. Come on. Is there nothing else in here? Huh. What's the point of breaking this? There's nothing over here. Okay. Okay, nothing's over there. Hmm. Okay, let's go down. Maybe it's this way. <laughs> go down. Okay, I'm down. <laughs> okay. No, I was here. No, I came from here. I went back. It must be the opposite direction. Okay. Oh, I have a double dash? Man setting up your, your failures. Ah, oh, here we go. This has to be it. Yeah, this is it. I'm done. Is up. Okay, can't break that. Okay. This deadly. No, it's fine. Okay. This way, I think. Come here. Come up. Get there. Oh, something right here. Is that it? Alright. I guess there's just some random spots where it's just like nothing, just like health or something. Yeah. Okay. Oh, something down here. Yeah, this is like health. Okay. Get up here. Get up. The bees! Okay. Oh, I need, I need that. Imagine if I just left that there. 
And I'm like, where's this goddamn gear? I think we should have the power now. Whoa, you just found a third gear. You've got to try that thing out. Hold down R when you hit the highest gear to keep the drill spinning. At third gear, you'll be bo boring through blocks like butter. Trim for the good ship to kick in. <laughs> Bust down everything. Bust down everything in sight and show them you mean business. Gotcha. Oh, now I'm cooking. Come on. Let's see, what is that? Keep your drill spinning to the black incoming fire. Gotcha. Just don't drill into missiles or bombs. You'll be sorry. Oh, okay. Hey, right, hold on. No. Here we go. Oh, dang. Come on. Come on. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. Ah, oh, well. Down we go. Come on. Wait, why is there a thing over here? Can I get up there? Doesn't look like it. Come on. Can I just go up? Can I break this now? Okay, I can't break that. It's indestructible. I think he mentioned that. Okay, I gotta kill this guy. Get out of here! Die, stinky. Okay, down. Come on. Get wrecked. Okay. Okay, we're doing good. Not indestructible, you just need to upgrade your drill, but gotcha. I'm a, I guess that's a comeback later kind of thing. Because I don't think there's any more gears I can get in here. Like a backtracking kind of thing. Come on. Okay, we're in. Okay. Okay. I'm going this way. Wait, I want to see what's in the other direction. Now I'm curious. It's over here. There's no music. Weird. Look out, there's a tank ahead. Try drilling into the hole on its nose. Oh boy. Shit. Shit. Oh, I'm gonna die. Die, Stinky! Get drilled! Okay, we killed him. He's dead. 
Don't forget that you can drill that... Don't forget that you can drill that other direction, boss. Don't forget that you can drill the other direction, boss. Press the opposite button to rotate your drill the other way. Rio Big Stinky. <laughs> rip Big Stinky, yeah, rip it. We ripped him a new one. We drilled him a new one. The opposite of R is L. Okay. I don't have to draw you a picture, do I? So let me see. Okay, whatever. Weird. Crank that soldier boy. Can't break that. Break this though. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. Now I understand what he means. Come on. Why am I closing the door though? Okay, here we go. You made it back. Right on. I'll come pick you up. Oh, we finished the area. Nice. Hope I didn't miss anything, but eh, hold on. You're so proud of me. Thank you, Nami. <laughs> Headpetful, Nami. One of these days, I'll make a, a headpet hotkey. Is it broken? Oh no! Our drill dozer! It's broken! Whoa! Your drill dozer really took a beating! Your drill dozer's gears won't last forever, you know. They get torn away over time from hard use. Don't sweat it! I'll patch her up as best as I can. You're all fixed up. The only thing is, you're back down to just one gear. Other than that, your drill dozer should be just like new, cutie. Guillermo, you can't distract your boss like that. You know those skulkers thugs roughed up her dad, Doug. Yeah, I get overheated every time you clear an area. Oh yeah, it gets... Okay, gotcha. So that's so, hey, it's not like too easy. You still have to look for shit. Gotcha. Second, I thought you said you get overheated. You know those skulkers thugs roughed up her dad, Doug. I guess that's Doug. Though Jill taking over as the boss of the Red Dozers, well, he is recovering. She's the boss now. You can't call her cutie. All right, all right, it's just a nickname, sheesh. So you managed to escape from that trap, but this time we're taking back the red diamond they stole from us. You wanna save? Oh yeah. Okay, nice. Choose a mission area, equipment, treasures, save. Guess we'll map. Uh, see, Red Dozer's training course. I'm assuming this one? Assuming it's that one. Gotcha, it is. Okay.
Is this the same thing? Boss, don't forget that you're back to using just one gear. You're gonna have to find more gears to upgrade your real dozer. Gotcha. Be like this is the same area. No, no, it's not. Gotcha. Oh, I didn't want to go in there. They're probably gonna spot respawn, are they? God dang. Okay, we got him. We got him. Die. What's up here? Money. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Die. Get up here. Is this a secret? Probably not. Yeah, it's just money. Get in here. Let's see. Ooh, what's... What is this? <laughs> Why is it jiggly? Oh, is it a? It's, maybe it's a jump pad. Do you see that weird yellow jelly block above your head? That is a honey block from Minecraft. Drill into it and then reverse your drill to fly backwards. There you try using this technique to get to places you normally can't reach. Want me to go over that again, boss? Oh no, I don't need. Higher the gear. The higher gear you're in, the higher you'll jump. Try shifting up to the highest gear, then slam it in reverse. Gotcha. Hmm. Oh, I get it. Gotcha. Come here. Let's go this way. Ooh, is that a drill bit? Come here. Gotcha. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Hmm, too far away. Doesn't work. No, it's gonna have to work. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Gotcha. Figure it out. There we go. Okay. Maybe I need to break this first. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to break this. Get out of here. All right, we got it. Interesting technique. Okay. All right. Who's that? Die. Okay, he's dead. Do I need this? Okay, we'll get rid of him first. Oh, I didn't do enough. Okay, come here. Okay, get over, stinkies. Is it? Oh, did I not do it enough? Okay. Come 
on. Oh, I see a health bar. Okay, I got it. Didn't realize that that was its health bar. Come on. Okay, it's broken. Alright, this is it. I can't break these yet. Die. Okay, he's broken. Oh, am I... Have I been here before? Okay, break him. I'm gonna wait for a second for that. Okay, I guess I don't need that. Get in here. Come on. Can I break these things? Oh, I can't. Oh. You're getting pretty good with that drill dozer of yours, but we're not dealing with common thieves here. Don't let your guard down. Press B to stand up in your cockpit and glance around. That way you can scout out the whole area around you. Oh. <laughs> She's kind of cute. She looks like a mouse. Kinda of reminds me of that mouse girl skin in Fortnite. The little ponytail things. No, 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 they're not things, they're just ponytails. Oh, okay, that's working now. So I can just go back. Break these computers. <laughs> Break these computers and everything like SpongeBob's. We are not cavemen. We have technology. <laughs> Continues to smash the computer onto the dollar. Come here. Get over here. I guess there's nothing that was like this bonus. Okay. Come here. Nope. That's a lot of them. That's a lot of them. Just run. Hmm, I guess we just leave. Probably don't even need to fight all of them. Die. What's up here? Get out of here, Spring Boy. Get out of here. Okay, he's dead. Break that. Break that. Come on. Come on. Okay, now we have to wait. Oh, dang it. 
Come back here. Okay, we did it. Oh, it's just bonus stuff. Yeah, we'll have to come back here later. If I remember. Okay. Up. Oh. Get out of my way. Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. no. Die. Okay, he's dead. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, I need to find some kind of health somewhere. Wait, can I break that? No. Probably break this, though. Okay, nice. What is this, a boss? No, these guys. Oh no, there's two of them. I got it, I got it. Uh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Shit. Oh boy. First game over probably. He's dead. He's dead. Uh, he's mad. Up. Crap. Pay 50 chips to continue? Yeah. Thanks. Good luck. Alright. I'll have to remember to do the secret save trick next time. You know what? I can do that right now. There you go. Come on. Okay, come on. I wonder if I should just focus on one. Shit. Shit, he's almost dead though. Okay, he's dead. And he's pissed. Okay, we got him. Get wrecked, nerd! Alright. Okay. That's it. Break this door open. Okay. 
Yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. We got our first game over, but that's fine. Oh. I thought I would have to platform on that, but I can know I have to use the drill. I don't know what to do, just use the drill. Okay. Use is really cute. Okay. Alright. Stinky. Oh. That didn't work. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got three gears now. Come on. Oh, I didn't do it in time. We got this. There we go. Alright, we're doing alright. Die. Come on. Come here. I don't need to break these tables, but I'm bored. I feel like it. Oh. Have an issue? Just drill it. Can't make dinner? Just drill it. Your partner broke up with you? Just drill it. <laughs> yeah. That reminds me of that YouTube video, uh, put some bacon on it, where it's basically what you just said, but the solution to everything is rub some bacon on it. <laughs> it's like a music video or something. Get away from me. Here you go. Here you go. Okay, can't break that. To squeeze through gaps and walls that you can't drill through, just crouch and press A to dash. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, so that's how I dash. Oh, I definitely need that. Oh, God. Okay, that's probably going to be a problem. Wait, is there a way over here? Oh, no. You're basically pulling in Metroid, yeah. Hmm. So I can't do that yet, I guess. I want to come back around. Oop. Get away from me. Stop electrocuting me. Drill bandage spotted. Yeah, but I don't think I could get it. Oop. It's electrical chuckle nuts. Stop electrocuting me. Get out of here. Let's go this way. Oh, I want that. Okay, nice. Oh, that looks important. Oh, I gotta time that. Come here. Got it. That's the way to do it. And they hit me. Okay, get in there. Okay, we're doing good. That's a me on the wall.
What have you... What? Have you never heard of knocking? It drives me insane when people do that. What am I looking at? Best theme incoming? That's Krug! He's the evil mega boss of the Skulkers. That's the red diamond they stole from us. Don't they know your mom left you that when she died? I can't believe they would stoop to that low. Only the most repulsive villain would do something like that. A villain? Ha! That's pretty rich coming from a gang of thieves. Tough luck. I stole it fair and square. But if you really want it that badly... Nah, I think I'll keep it. Ta-ta! Damn. Dang, he's getting away. Go get him! I will try. Can't break that. Oh. There's in the wrong button. Okay, we're taking the elevator. Okie dokie. Okay. Oh, I want that. Give me that. Boop. Boop. Okay. It's quiet. I think there's a boss coming. Me thinks boss, maybe? Yes, me thinks right. Hey, shorty! I'm over here! Mwahaha! <laughs> Good luck, dear boy. If you need help, let me know. Okay. I'm assuming that means this is tough. I will try my best. If you want your precious red diamond back, you'll have to beat me! I don't have much to worry about, because that will never happen. <laughs> Watch out for the Scorpion Dozer's Wicked Tail. You know, that thing with the big drill on the end. When he uses that drill, give him a tease of his own awful medicine. A taste, I mean. Okay. Oh. Back. Okay, I think I'm doing good. That's a bomb, so I don't want to touch him. Okay, I think I got this. Oh. Okay, I can't mess that up, otherwise it'll hit me, I guess. Oh, I messed it up. Come on. Oh, I really can't mess it up. Oh, we did it. This is another phase. Hmm. 
You got spunk, kid. I have to admire that. But all that spunk in the world isn't gonna save you now, Mahaha. Although he's got the Master Emerald. Oh hey! You know that red diamond I swiped from you? I figured out how to harness its awesome destructive power. Mahaha! <laughs> That's not good. Whoa! I saw something shiny in that scorpion's mouth. Haha, <laughs> I've got it. When it opens its mouth, give it a drill. Gotcha. Crap. Oh, there we go. We're gonna die. Oh. Dang it. No, 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 no. Continue. Alright, we're gonna have to do the save trick. Okay. We can speed through this dialogue. Okay. Okay, frick off you scorpion man. Okay. Oh, I messed up. Okay, this phase is pretty easy. I just stop touching the bombs, maybe. Come on. Okay, take that. Boop, 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 boop. Ah, damn it. Crap. Drop it again, buddy. Come on, drop it. Give it to me. Okay, phase. This phase is done. What? Save here. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Power. Blah blah. blah. Okay. God damn it. Crap. Crap. Okay. Does again. Okay, there we go. Oh, we almost like we only have to do it twice. That's cool. Crap. Oh damn. Oh damn. Come on. Okay, we did it. Tea bag. Okay, we killed this guy. It's a big ass explosion. Oh, they took my. What was it, like the third, second try? What you far on me for? Was I won? That was pretty impressive for a pink-haired, ponytailed red dozer. You beat me, so I guess I have to give you back this red diamond. Yeah, right. Ha! 
like I'm going to go to the trouble to steal it only to give it away. Mahaha! <laughs> Where that left remind me of that like meme laugh, like <laughs> the little baby gremlin kind of sounding laugh meme. <laughs> Let's see. Oh no! After all that, Krug ran off with our red diamond, and we're not gonna stop hunting him until we steal it back. Word on the street is they headed for the art gallery. Oh, some guy stopped by to visit. I never seen him before. Who was that? Oh, you don't know him? That's an old buddy of mine that runs- Oh, I've got to read that. You should grab as many chips as you can while you're roaming around. Then you can spend them at his shop to buy all kinds of great gear. You can buy energy tanks from him and use them to upgrade your drill dozer. Gotcha. I'll save. Yes. Let's see equipment. Uh. No, I don't want to go back. Okay. Then it's just tell me how to use them. Let's see. Let's see, treasures? Okay, I didn't really get any treasures. Oh well. Okay. Okay, let's go another route. Wait, wait, there's another guy. Go back. Go back, back. There's another little guy. Oh, yeah, this guy. The... Welcome. What can I sell you? Come back soon with more chips. Oh, I don't have enough chips? I'm pretty sure I have enough chips. Why can't I... Buy it. Controller? Hmm. Did I buy it? Oh, there we go. Figure it out. Well, like... My controller buttons are different. A and B are mixed up, so I have to like figure out which one's which. Okay, nice. Okay. All right, there you go. I bought it. Ah, oh, dang it. A is B and B is A. I'm using an Xbox controller on my Game Boy. <laughs> Lake stretch. Mm. I could use my Switch controller, but someone who also uses the same Game Boy as me said it just defaults to get Xbox controllers anyway with a switch, so, eh, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Oh, they're cool. <laughs> Was I supposed to do that? Ho hopefully. Boss, can you hear me? It looks like you've made it inside. Our stolen red diamond was taken to the museum. Let's get it back. All right, gotcha. Sit up here. Yeah. OK. 
Okay. Those are the cops. Oh! No, we try to get our stuff back. We have to let them fight the law. Well, the cops are pretty cute. I like how they just, like, spiral away when you hit them. That red tube up ahead is part of the museum's air conditioning system. Air duct ducts make for perfect sneaky entry for thieves like us. Just drill into the duct's groove to spin through it. Oh no, we're venting chat. Keep in mind that you gotta drill the other direction in blue ducts. Can't believe we vented. We really are criminals. Okay. Okay. Can't get that. Did I break that? Give me that chip. Assuming that's a chip. Okay. So I guess I gotta break random stuff to get money. So I'll try to remember to do that. Can't get that. Ooh, that's new. I'm going this way first. Okay, now I'll go here. Come here. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay. You know, I think blocks like disappear after a while. I mean, respawn after a while. Like if I leave the room and come back, the box will like respawn. I could probably farm blocks to get money. If I wanted to. Okay. Okay. Give me those gold bricks. Oh, I missed that money. Can get that. I need money for upgrades. Give it to me. Can I get that? Got it. Okay, we're good. Oh, wait, something? Can I read that? <gasps> oh! Oh! A little puzzle. Give me that. Come on. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is back where I started, I think. Going back. That looked familiar. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I haven't been there. Maybe it just looks similar. But I'm going this way. Okay. No, that is where I need to go. I think. Let me check. That arrow's pointing that way. But I haven't gone this way yet.
Okay, I can't get that yet. I think we're doing good. Alright. Can I get up here? Can I? Oh, those poor cop ladies. Or they could be guys in pink. Hmm. See if I can get the thing up. If there's anything I can get up there, I feel like I can get that. No. Okay, can't get up there yet. All right. We'll probably have to come back later. See that weird-looking lift in front of you? That's called a lateral lift. To latch onto it, just drill it from either side. Press left or right on the button control pad to switch sides as you hang on. Keep drilling and swap sides to avoid hitting your head. Gotcha. I want to break this first. Can't. Oh, that's neat. Looks like I can break that. Okay. Hmm, can't get that yet. Ooh, what was that? Okay, we're going up here. Oh, I can break that over here. I can break it from under. Interesting. That. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. Give me those. Crap. Nope. Come here, Sneaky. Crap. Come on. Break this. Die. Give me those. I need the money. I wonder. Can I open the menu? Oh. Uh. Back. Okay, this is how I tell I have any chips. Okay, I don't have that many chips. This door. Do I just jump down? Oh. Oh. I don't think I wanted to do that. I think I wanted to be up there. Crap. Maybe I can just 
Oh yeah, I can do this now. Okay, we're good. Frick off. Die. Give me your wallets. Come here. Okay, got him. Die. Okay, we're doing good. Come here. Can I get that money? Can I read that? No. Wait, I kind of wonder if I could drill those lasers and destroy them. Well, that's a chunky boy. Got him. See that pink? Puzzle. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay. Get up there. Come on. Okay, can't break that yet. Goddard. Why is he jumping so much? Stop jumping. Bastard. He knew I was aiming up. Come here. Here. Come here. Okay, we killed him. We drilled his butt to death. Don't question it. Give me that. Is there money up here? No. Wow, the police sure make their robots on the cheap. That one was held together by just one screw. <laughs> Remove it, and the whole thing falls to pieces. That's just... That's not a very good design for a robot. Sometimes I think it would be funny. You know, like... We go back in time and see younger selves, and they're like... Oh, did there was there a robot uprising? And would be like, yeah, but it's a lot more lame than it sounds. <laughs> With like the AI crap that's going on. Oh yeah, the AI uprising happened. It's not as cool as it sounds. Boop. I kind of wish Disney didn't shut down Blue Skies, because I think a Robots 2 would have been a funny movie. I want a Robots 2. But 
they blew up the animation studio. Okay. It's foreshadowing. <laughs> Okay. Oh, what does that do? Can I break that? No. Well, I can take this. That's a big boy right here. Okay. This drill dozer girl is pretty strong. I don't think I remember what her name was. Uh, it doesn't work. Maybe I can drill this. This is a puzzle, by the way. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, maybe I need to place it somewhere the matching head. Also, her name is Jill Jill Dozer. Jill the Jill the Drill Dozer. Got it. So, right here. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, I need to get back in there. Come on, Jill. Is her brother Jack Hammer? Oh, not close enough, damn it. Al, maybe, maybe her dad is Alan Wrench. Drew, Drew Driver? That's a bad one. Give me the money. Okay. Oh, I can break these. I'm gonna assume I should grab these real quick. Stinky. Okay, I gotta do like really close. Come on. Eh, well, I don't need it. Ooh, boss. No, it's not very, not really bossy. Can I? Come here. Oh, well, I was at the store. They had some of the Mario movie action figures on sale, and, like, Toad was more expensive than Mario, and I thought that was funny. Like, why is the Toad figure more expensive than the Mario figure? On clearance. Maybe it's his thick-ass head. Because he's got that weird hat. I don't know, that is silly. It's like $9 for Mario and $12 for Toad. But to be honest, it doesn't really seem like a 
clearance price. That just seems like the normal price. I would expect them to be $12 normally. God damn it. Toad's a celebrity, Mario's just some plumber. True. Okay, do it. What is wrong with you? Here. Mario! I'm gonna die to this fucking dog. Oh my god, this dog. Do I need to get behind him? Come here. Come here. I guess I gotta drill his butt. Yeah, I gotta drill his butt. That's kind of odd. <laughs> the guard robot is just like the one you destroyed earlier. However, this one won't hesitate to attack. Even your drill can't protect you from its powerful punches. When its fists turn red, get ready to dodge. Crap. Crap. Should probably save. I'm gonna let him. Oh. Crap, crap, crap. Trap. Oh, he's a big boy. Come on. Oh, I'm one hit to death. I dodged. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna continue. But back, back from ads. All right, I'll go back. Okay, continue. Okay, let me. Do I have to do all these little? I gotta do all these things. Gotcha. This little Bosch rush, Bosch rush thing. Die. Oh, one of the things that was in the clearance section was uh, these DC superhero action figures in the style of, like, old nostalgic boxes. Like, they look like the box are from, like, the 70s or whatever. But, like, it was, like, the Batman who laughs, who's, like, this edgy-looking... He looks like shit. But seeing that edgy-looking character and, like, the cutesy, like, retro DC action figure box is kind of ridiculous-looking. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> gotta kill the dog again. Yeah, you gotta neuter the dog. I'm a you gotta fix the dog. Oh, I'm gonna die to the dog. Damn it. Good dice, fucking dog. Oh, I got more health. Weird. Come here, you stinky.
There we go. I don't get it. <laughs> I guess I just have to get his butt. I just can't. I can't reach it. Okay. Yeah, I got. It. I remember from the first time. Bring it, Sticky. Oh, damn. Come on. Alright, I think we can get him this time. First time was a fluke. Oh, I forgot to do this. I forgot to save. Shit. We'll save now. What are you doing, buddy? Come on. You need to be here? What are you doing? Bastard. Okay, I can't dash behind him. Come on. What is he doing? Do you need help? Uh, I don't... I don't... No. He's not doing anything. I could always shit. Oh wait, do I need a drill here? Okay, I think I know what to do. Okay, I'm gonna Gonna reset. Come on. Okay. Um, got it. Okay. Does he keep hitting me back? Okay. Oh crap. Okay. Die. Gotcha, I figured it out. I messed up. I might have to reset again. Alright. Come on. Oh, we did it! Oh, thank god. Yippee! Alright. Easy. Easy. First try. Not really, but we're gonna say it's first try. Let's see. That safe door up ahead is way too tough for you to drill through. Your drill dozer's gears are also probably pretty worn away by now, anyway. Come back to the trailer and I'll fix it up. Oh, so we're gonna have to come back to that safe? Probably? Probably. Big stretch. <clears throat> Big stretch. Oops. 
Our red diamond must be locked away in the giant vault in that room. That's a problem, because the lock on the museum vault has three dials. The release lever is supposedly somewhere nearby, but I guess we'll just have to head back in there and find out. Yes. Progress has been saved. Nice. Okay, let me check this. I need to check something real quick. Do do. Do do. Do do. Okay. Okay, being checked. Alright. I do not have enough, so we will leave. No, we can leave. Alright, let's continue. Nope, oh, wrong button. I'm gonna get buttons mixed up a lot. Okay. Yes. Let's bust open this vault chat. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's probably the store. Get in it. Oh, that's a lot of those things. Yeah. I wonder, I just had a random thought, I wonder if a different uh, Mario RPG is different from the original. Maybe I'll just play the old version, since I know how. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe, eh, maybe I'll just wait at the new one. But I do kind of like these retro pixel graphics a little bit. Some games are cuter than others, though. Some pixel games kind of look a little stinky. What the heck? Oh, that's not good. Okay. Red. Can I break these? Probably should st Oh, I guess I don't need to break these? Oh, I can still break them. Wait a second, I got an idea. Can I jump in that? Can I grab that, please? Okay, I, I know what to do. I know what to do, I'm just... Budget. Come on, I know what to do. I know what to do, you just gotta... There we go, figure it out. For some reason this game's like my... really working my thumb. I'm feeling in my thumb a little bit. Don't know why. I guess it's the holding down of the buttons. But the game is fun, so I'm gonna keep going. Let's go.
It's also neat that the game still has, this game has rumble. It's kind of neat. Die, you purple blob. Don't touch the smoke, gotcha. Can I break this? this thing behind it? No. Die. Okay. Boop. Okay, this looks like a good sword. I'm gonna have to get patient with these things. No, I want the money. Give me the money. That. Ooh. Okay, can't get there yet. I can do that. I wonder how far the next drill bit is. I mean, gear is. Anything up there? No, there's nothing. But I can break this now, I think. Get up here. Alright, we're doing good. What do you want? The room that you just sneaked into must be a guard station. It's the control room for opening the giant vault. If you turn the wheel, you can turn the dials on the vaults. But you must turn each of the three dials from different rooms. This is the art gallery. Talk about heavy duty security. The device itself is rather simple. Problem here is figuring out which way or how many times to turn the dial to unlock it. Unless we know that info, what's the point in being here? Boss, do you see anything in that room that might be a clue? I shall look. I mean, there's this. Attention, newly hired security guard. To open the vault, turn the red dial two times to the right and four times to the left. This is top secret info, so don't go babbling about it to your buddies. Thanks. Okay. So. Hmm. Uh, retry. I think it's like this. Got it. We did it. Excellent. The first lock has been released. Go check the next control room. Gotcha. Whoop. Off we go. To go see your drill dozer. Okay, puzzle. Oh, this fucker. Oh, 
die. Okay, he isn't too hard. Okay, but how do I open this thing? Looks like I have to open it from the other side, so let's leave. Okay. Die. Die. Farmy kind of wants to see art of what these characters look like, not pixel art. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell what they'd look like. I mean, I could always draw what I think they look like. But I'll probably forget to do something like that. Okay. There's a mini comic for this game. Oh, neat. That's neat. They like come with the original game. <laughs> ah, the thief has finally shown up. I bet you want that diamond, huh? Oh, nice. How about I give you a taste of my EMP bombs instead? Stay clear of those EMP bombs, or you'll trash your drill dozer in a hurry. EMP bombs, no problem. Just use the fountain on them. You're smart, cutie. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think I figured it out. Come on. Come on. Die. this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck. How many of these do I need to kill? Oh no. this time. But I can still this side. Oh, I'm gonna die. Come on. Okay, I think we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Detective Carey! We've used up all of our EMP bombs. Dang! Oh well, there's always the vault. Oops, I mean, never mind! We'll let that cutie little red dozer go for now. Hey, that was Detective Carrie! She's the most ruthless detective in the force. If she's here, she's got to be protecting something important. That's it. Our red diamond has got to be in that vault. That fountain has some serious pressure. It should even be able to lift your heavy drill dozer. Gotcha. So what do I do? Can I jump on top of it? Or do I need to like... I can't really drill water. Oh! 
I get jump on it. It's just very finicky. Do I need to move it? I need to move it. Yeah, I need to go this way. Come on. Fuck. Gotcha. Damn. I did it. Okay. Okay, break these snakes. Get out of the way, Tubby. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Wait, this. Oh, that's like a puzzle thing. So there's a puzzle up there. So I gotta do that. Okay. Get the money. Okay, looks like we're coming back to this room in a second. Oh, this thing. Ooh. Back. Clue. Any clues? There's a poster here on the wall. The famous five diamonds will be on display at the art museum. Come and behold the mysterious power with their own, your own eyes. There's a memo stuck on the bottom of the flyer. Turn the dial five times to the left and then three times to the right. Thanks. Okay. So five times to the left. Okay. I think this is four. Okay. This is right. Did it. Easy. You did it! Now there's only one more dial to go. Alright, chat, we got this. Okay. Did you make that jump? I cannot. God damn it. Get on the in the water. Rick, I'm pretty sure I can do that. It's just... Come on. No! Oh. Oh, poo. Maybe I can't get over there. But I feel like I can. Fuck. Still can't get it. 
on. Oh. Got it. Let's go. First try. Anyone says otherwise is wrong was first try. I did it. Come here. Can I break these? Yeah, I know I can break them. This is a puzzle. That's not good. I don't think I can do the puzzle if there's no painting. Maybe it respawns. Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna make it respawn. Because I'm assuming the puzzle piece is very important for the puzzle. Thank God. There we go. Yeah. Okay, money. I can't make that jump without that, but I'm gonna use this. Break that. Huh? Ooh. That's indestructible. Come here. Hmm. I'll figure this out. Ooh, stretch. Well, thank you for the hydrate. I'll figure this out. This do be a tricky puzzle, though. No, probably it's not a tricky puzzle. I'm just dumb. Oh, there we go. I just have to go full speed. Gotcha, there we go. We got this. How often does Game Freak make games that aren't Pokemon? Is it like super rare? I know they did like an RPG thing, but like apparently it wasn't that good other than it had music from Toby Fox in it. Like, I heard that the only redeeming quality is it has music from the guy who made Undertale. There we go. Wonder if it's actually bad or. I don't know. Game Freak is just Pokemon now, yeah. But imagine if they, like, made other games like this. 
wonder how well they would sell though. They probably wouldn't sell much. But maybe they would. People just like Pokemon. I wonder if they'll make another live-action Pokemon movie like Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu was a decent movie. But then they just don't make any more. They didn't make any more. It's just one and done. I think they were going to do a Netflix show, but I don't know if that's going to be connected or not. Probably going to be its own thing. Kind of tired of them people like just rebooting the shit. Like just do one, commit, make it good. Okay, I think I needed this. Okay, it worked. I know at one point they were going to make a Detective Pikachu 2, but then I think it got cancelled. I wonder if it got uncancelled. I feel like I heard it did it. Kind of just remembered that apparently... Has anyone ever heard of Harold in the Purple Crown? It's like, it's like something based on a book and a cartoon or whatever, but apparently they're making a live-action movie where he's played by Zachary Levi, but like the book, he's a toddler, but the movie, it's just an adult man with a purple crown. It's like, kind of looks like, what? <laughs> Maybe it'll be a good in its own weird way, but it's kind of like, what? Just make it a cartoon. I don't want to see Zachary Levi in a purple jumpsuit drawing shit with a crayon. Just cast the child or like make it animated. And the sad thing is, is people have been pointing out that they've been trying, there have been animated versions pit like in the in development hell for years, but they chose to finally go through with this weird live action thing. I mean, there's only a poster. Maybe it'll be good. Doubt it, though. Oh, wait. Can I read this? Let's see. There are rows of books on the bookcase. Pieces of Picasso, Corner Deli. Let's see. Can okay, I can check it? Wait a second. Wait a minute. See, pieces of Picasso, corner dolly. Eh, seems like gibberish. Can I read this stuff? Oh, I can read them all. Your book's on this bookcase? Okay. Looking for number directions. Diamond is incredible. I can't believe I finally got a chance to view it in person. I intended to display it in the museum, and once I held it in my hand, I wanted it for myself. Just to be safe, I'll keep the diamond in the vault for now. There's a memo. Okay. Six times to the left, one time to the right, twelve times to the left. Six, one, twelve. I wonder what other, what other weird movies they're going to make out of toddler crap. Oh, I heard they're making a sequel to the live-action Dora, but it's not going to have the actors back. But it's like, what's the point then? Let's see. Let's see. Six. Okay. Oh, this is going to be confusing. Let's see. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six. Uh, 
I think I get I made a mistake. Let's see. Let's see. One two three. Okay, we messed up. Okay, retry. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six? I'm gonna do it one more time. Did I mess up? I heard a dung. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Come on. Okay, one. Now I go back around. All right, I should be able to get it now. I wonder what. Oh, I already stepped. What, what, what kind of books could they make into cringy? Movies. I know they're making an adult Barney movie. That one might have a chance to be good because it's apparently made by a really good director and he has like an idea for it. Apparently, something about the pitch is like Barney taught us that everyone loves each other, but what if it's not true? Because Barney's gonna have to learn that, like, oh, someone person doesn't love me. Bro, let Chirimia be, please. They really scrape in the bottom of the barrel when they make live action fucking Dora and Harold and Purple Crown. And like, animated movies. It's right there. You can make it animated and it could be really good. But no. Let's get Zachary Levi to play a toddler. <laughs> What's that one cartoon, uh, Blah Blah Blah, The Magic Beast? What's her name? What well, they did was, was like, gotta be about that. Is it Emily in The Big Beast or something? I don't know. That'd be funny. You did it, boss. You cracked the lock on the vault. You have no clue? Yeah, there's like a, there's like one where it's like Maggie and the Ferocious Beast. I think is that's what's called. <laughs> what if they did that? Or I don't know. They already did a crappy Clifford movie. Go and see what's inside. Nope, never heard of it. Yeah, it's probably an obscure one. That was like a toddler show. I don't even think I watched it really. I just seen it like a couple times when I was little. But it's about Maggie and her ferocious beast. And he's like this big yellow polka dot monster. With like a... Not a human face, but he had a weird little like person face. He wasn't creepy, he's just kind of an, itch, an odd design. Oh, 
And there was like a pig that was their friend for some reason. Come here. Come here. This fucking dog. I think they did a Blue's Clues movie recently, but like people actually kind of like that one because they brought back all the old uh, hosts. So it was like Spider Verse. All I know is The Simpsons. That is fair. Do you still watch The Simpsons or did you like stop after a while? Because honestly, modern Simpsons, something about it just. Instantly makes me cringe, though I haven't turned it on in a long time. But I feel like I'd still like turn it on, listen to it for a second, and for something about it. It's like, it's like bizarre. I honestly think they're never, they're never going to let The Simpsons die, but I would make the second movie end it for a couple years and then reboot it with a different art style, maybe with new showrunners with better ideas. I watch it every now and then. Uh, yeah, that's what I would usually do, but like I stopped because I just didn't like it. Never really been into Family Guy. Like I just never really was interested in it, even when it was... Maybe I kind of want to retry classic Family Guy, see if it's better. Family Guy is just kind of like watch a clip and it's funny kind of show. Bob's Burgers is good though. I like Bob's Burgers. What's over here? Oh, I probably should take that. No, it's just money. Okay. Family Guy is obnoxious now, and the older ones are way better, yeah. I, from what I've heard, I think it gets bad when it gets rebooted, because I think it was cancelled at one point, but then it got brought back because the DVD he sold a lot. Yeah, I like Bob's Burgers. That's like the only Fox cartoon I kind of like. Though I stopped watching it, so I haven't probably have to catch up. And then any other new Fox cartoon is just probably obnoxious. Or, like, it's cancelled immediately, regardless if it's good or bad. Crap. I think they did a cartoon, I didn't watch it, but, like, pets or something. And, like, it looked... F is for family's good? I've heard of that. It's, like, on Netflix. Never seen it, though. Like, maybe the pet show would have been fine, but, like, the one dog looks stupid as fuck and just kind of, like, a... F just looked annoying. His design looked annoying, so I don't think I'd ever watch it. Though the show's probably trash anyway. Maybe if the one dog didn't look ugly as fuck with buck teeth. I'd consider it. <laughs> I don't know. Everything kind of just looks like a... F Family Guy kind of clone on Fox. Which is kind of fair. If that's what's popular, keep doing it. Shit. Shit. I wonder what's going to be the next art style. Because first it was like... Like... Family Guy ripped off The Simpsons. And then... Everything rips off Family Guy. And then now everything's ripping off Rick and Morty's art style. So, like, what's going to be the next one? It's going to be interesting. But, like, Hollywood won't let any show get popular to the point where there would be copied. So, 
You know what? Actually, I'd say it would be the Harley Quinn show because they did that crappy Velma show. It looked kind of like the Harley Quinn show. Like, Daphne straight up just looks like Poison Ivy from the Harley Quinn show. <laughs> but the thing is, Harley Quinn works for the most part because she's an edgy R-rated character most of the time. Scooby-Doo is not. It's funny when, like, something like Mystery Incorporated is a more mature show than the adult Scooby-Doo show. I haven't seen Mystery Incorporated yet. I need to give it a try. Looks like the kind of show where... Once you watch it, it's really good. And already Scooby-Doo could have been good, too. Yeah. And, you know, my theory... I have a theory about it. Like, they call... Like, it doesn't have Scooby. And Shaggy's called Norville. And, you know, they race swap them. And he has a completely different design and personality. So my theory is... I don't think they were... Le they were allowed to use Scooby or Shaggy. I don't think they were allowed to. Because when you think Scooby and Shaggy... You, when you think Scooby-Doo, you think of those characters. And they sell toys. So I don't think they want people... So I think they changed all the characters, the designs, so they don't look like Scooby-Doo at all. So when kids Google it, you know, it'll look different. They won't think it's Scooby-Doo. But they claim it's because, oh, we couldn't think of any funny ideas for Scooby. And I'm like, fuck bullshit. There are s so many things you could do with an adult Scooby. Just have him be a scary ass big dog who just shits all the time and doesn't talk. Or it, the poop, the gross out jokes are right there for this crappy doll show. So like, I don't know. It's kind of bullshit. I call it bullshit. I'm, I think they just weren't allowed to. Imagine Scooby walking in on Shaggy and Velma. <laughs> well, actually, that happens in Mystery Incorporated. That happens in the kids show. We're like, I think Shel Velma and Shaggy are dating. Like, I saw the clip online. It was kind of cringy. And he, like, bumps into them making out behind a bush. And Scooby's like, Raggy, are you cheating on me? I'm like, no, Scoob. It's not what it looks like. Like, exactly. <laughs> but no, they can't do it. And I swear, it has to be because they weren't allowed to use Scooby's design. But honestly, I'm glad he didn't get dragged in. And I think they made the thing that Scoob movie. Oh, I broke. Oh, no, I didn't break. They made that animated Scoob movie. That was trying to be a multiverse, mo uh, univer a mo cinematic universe. So it's kind of lame. And I think a Anna Barbera cinematic universe could work. I think they just used the wrong characters. They just made it a superhero movie. Like, I would have scrapped the superhero stuff. Honestly, I pick a different character for it to cross over. Like, what I would do is instead of them teaming up with a superhero, just have it be like Johnny Quest or whatever and say that, like, oh, there's like a ghost. We're having like a race car thing and a ghost is haunting it. And then have it plot twist its dick dastardly. That way the movie can be stay exactly the same, but the Scooby characters can do Scooby Doo shit like solve a mystery. They like don't even solve a mystery in that movie. It's like they want to use the Scooby-Doo characters, but they are sick of- they want- they don't want to do mystery stuff because they're sick of the formula, but like, I don't think you can do anything else with Scooby. You have to use the formula, otherwise it sucks. That's like weird, like I can understand being tired of doing like, ooh, behind the mask and just want to use the characters, but like, it never works. Well, that's a boss.
Oh, crap. Oh, I get his ice stocks, I guess. Got him. I know everyone points out that the Venture Bros say Venture Bros did a better adult Scooby Doo. Crap. Ah, fuck. Like, bullshit, you can't think of something funny to do with Scooby. I find it funny that the live-action Scooby-Doo movie was supposed to be R-rated, but they cha they chickened out last minute. Yeah, like they were gonna they were gonna do like we like Dra Shaggy and Scooby were gonna be stoners, and like Velma and Shaggy were gonna be a Velma and Daphne were gonna be like a lesbian couple, like the theories or whatever. But like Warner Brothers chickened out, and that's why that movie's so weird, and there's a lot of weed jokes in it. <laughs> Would also explain why there's that, like, kind of shoehorned love interest for Velma. Because they're like, no, we don't want her to be lesbian anymore. Like, no, Velma likes guys, you guys. Yeah, it is kind of really funny because they they had another shoehorn love interest in the second live action Scooby Doo movie too. Like they really wanted to be like, no, you guys, she's not gay. But like they originally wanted to do it, they almost did it. Get him? Shit. Okay, come on. Okay, we got him. health nice so come on come on boop boop all right boop If they ever make a Jetson movie, I want them to make it a po robot apocalypse movie where they're made robot Rosie, like go on a murder spree, and they have and they get they crash land on like the surface world because the Jetsons live in the sky and it's like this desert wasteland. And they have to survive without technology. <laughs> That's my pitch for a Jetson movie. It doesn't even need to be an adult movie. It could be a kids movie. You just have ro robot uprising. They get kicked on to the desert wasteland and meet the Flintstones. You ever see the theory that the Flintstones just... The Jet Flintstones and the Jetsons take place in the same time period, just the Flintstones live on Earth and the Jetsons live in the sky? <laughs> the, Je the Flintstones just live in a post-apocalyptic world. They did that episode already? Oh. That was them time traveling, though. They time travel that episode, I think, when they crossed over. But there's a theory that the Jets, the Flintstones just take place in the future. Oh, I think they're making an adult Flintstones cartoon on Fox. I hope it's good, but I don't know. 
So that'd be it's gonna be about like their daughter Pebbles is an adult, and it's gonna be like more modern Stone Age, maybe the Bronze Age or something. And she goes to the big city. Hopefully, it's good. You're in the vault. Hooey! Just look at all that gold. That red diamond of yours has got to be around there somewhere. <laughs> Are you looking for this? That's a different one. I knew you would come looking for the diamond. I've been waiting for you. There's no way I'm handing it over. Detective Carey is acting really odd. The diamond in the safe. The yellow diamond. I won't hand it over. Won't give it. It's mine. All mine. Oh no. The cops have become corrupt. I'm not surprised. Be careful. She's possessed by the power of the diamond. She can't hear you now. You've got to destroy her robot. Least robots have a weakness around their belly. Look for it. Okay, I gotta get rid of the belly ring. Oh! Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Shit. Shit. Oh, crap. Can I get behind her? Gotcha, Sticky! Okay, I think I could, could hurt myself. Come on. Come here, Ziggy. Crap. Come on. Come here, you stinky bastard. This is a chunky looking robot. Crap. Okay, messed up. Come on. Come on. Okay, nice, we did it. Bring it, bring it. Did that, did that take any damage? I don't think it did. Oh, she hit me. Come on. Oh, man. Crap. At least I made a save stay, so I'm good. Bring it. Bring it. Is it up or down? Oh, I missed my chance. Missed my chance. Missed my chance. God damn it. Okay, up or down? Go, 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 go. go. Oh. Gotta be really close, I guess. Up or down? And of course. God dang it. Bring it, Papa. Up or down. Damn it. I wonder if I should just reset. Oh, one more hit and we're good. We might be able to get this.
crap, I missed my shot. Come on. Did I die? I, I died at the last second. No, thank you. I will save my money. I will save my money. <laughs> okay, up or down, up or down, up or down. That was down. I wonder what I'm gonna eat after this. I'm gonna make chicken. Die. Okay, hopefully it's like a three hits and it's done. Come on. All right. Oh. Oh, we did bad this time. Oh, we definitely got it this time. Get wrecked! Second phase? Of course. Oh! Stick it in the hole. Do it anyway. Come here. Oh, we're gonna die. At least we got phase one done. Well, we're gonna die. Come on. We just drill it. Show me. Crap. This is a tough one. Crap. Hey. Oh, I got second life. Okay, I figured it out. I figured it out. I don't need to jump. Oh crap. Come on. Gotcha. Come on. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, there we go. Okay, we gotta do this phase again. Okay, tries again. Now that I know how to do it, it's gonna be pretty easy. I think jumping over is better than crouching, honestly. Regardless of how high it is. Come here, Stinky. Die. Okay. Try and save as much health as possible. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, lol. One second. 
Okay. I'm sure there's a pause. Wait. Oh, there's a pause. Alright, I can hydrate. Might need to stand and stretch real quick. How are you doing, H201? I need to stretch. You good? Yeah, I'm good. <clears throat> Just playing some Drill Dozer. Talking about the Harold in the live action Harold in the Purple Crown movie where he's going to be played by an adult Zachary Levi. <laughs> Just make it an animated movie. <laughs> How you doing? Come here, Stinky. Stick it in the hole. Okay. Come here, coppers. Crap. Oh, we're gonna die again. So I'm gonna read that a second. Good thing modded lethal company. Oh, nice. What kind of mods you got in it? You got like crazy mods or just like normal mods? Lethal company is really fun. We played Lethal Company with like a Family Guy house mod. And we were like, oh, it's gonna make the building where we look for stuff is gonna be the Family Guy house. No, the map, we're like in, we're like tiny in a giant Family Guy house in the, as the map. It was like ridiculous. But like when you land, it does like the Family Guy cutaway songs. This one was pretty funny. Huh? I came here to arrest some thieves. What happened? I think we got a mod that's a uh, Peach's Castle, but we never got a chance to play it. I see. So you came to get your red diamond back. Well, this isn't the diamond you're looking for. I know there's a mod where you can have, like, basically... Chaos Emeralds, yeah. We're looking for diamonds. Techni no, we're looking for diamonds. Chaos Diamonds? There's like a mod where like, there'll be like mimics where they just like, will spawn look like you. And there was like a ton the last time I played. Tons of clones of me. Like one of them, one of them was apparently me lurking at the front door. And they like killed me. They're like, oh, there's a second Dakota at the front door. <laughs> Kill the engine, boss. You're back in the trailer, safe and sound. Detective Carrie is usually pretty cool and collected. What got into her? Why did she go so crazy for that diamond? Come to think of it, wasn't the diamond we're looking for red? That one was yellow. And this museum brochure says something happened to the five diamonds. So what you're saying is, there are, there may be even more diamonds out there. I think so. I've heard of a blue di diamond hidden somewhere in the Kuro ruins. Think it's one of the five diamonds we're looking for. Interesting. Yes, we will save. Can we buy shit? Let's see. We don't have enough. Okay, back. Catch. Okay, next world. This game's pretty fun so far. It does work out my fingers a little bit, though, because I guess I'm pressing the. 
the like holding down the trigger button a lot, but it's pretty fun. Okay. Okay. Creepy trees, grumbling ruins, spooky jungle noises. I hope some jungle monster doesn't jump out and grab you. You've got a lot of guts to come out here looking for a diamond boss. I'm getting freaked out just thinking about it. What's up, Grunch? Grutch? Are you spooked of s or something? She's the one that's heading into the ruins, not you. You're right. You're right. I shouldn't cause a fuss, but I'm easily spooked. I just hope the boss doesn't run into any traps ahead. Or monsters. Oh no, monsters exist in this world. That tree looks like a skull. Okay. Skull trees. Oh yeah, skeletons. Yeah, this level is pretty iconic in the community. I just saw like a video on Twitter where it's a guy reacting to something and it's basically saying the guy was reacting to a video saying talking about like you know like in like horror games or like like D&D, &D, how skeletons will like attack you like enemies, yet how can they see or hear you? The reason they're able to find you is because the skeleton in your body is communicating skeletonically to the other skeletons, to asking them to set it free. And the guy's just like, I've never heard the word skeletonic before, but that word makes me feel like you are correct. <laughs> So like when you're playing Minecraft and you're being attacked by skeletons, it's your skeleton in your body asking the other skeletons to set it free. <laughs> Skeletony. I mean, it makes sense, and it's honestly kind of really creepy and ominous. That means your your bones are like plotting against you. Now I think I remember a skit where it's like a knight and he goes in a cave and he starts killing skeletons. But the skeleton cave he's killing looks kinda like a school. He's like, wasn't it odd that they are all sitting at desks reading books? I think <laughs> We just killed the skeleton community. <laughs> I don't think they were just harmless skeletons. <laughs> the skeletons just turn around looking at them like, what are you doing? <laughs> Walking skeletons, plants, growing into living walls. I'm getting freaked out, and I'm all the way back at the trailer. You're crazy, you know that? The boss can take care of herself. Okay, I can't destroy that noodle. Okay, these are breakable. <gasps> oh, interesting. I can only get them from one direction. Like the band. One direction. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to write in a skeleton community into my next D <laughs> campaign. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember the context, but they're like murdering a bunch of skeletons in a cave but like i think they're just i think they were just harmless skeletons i think they eventually they befriended the skeletons or something because they just i think it was just a, a harmless skeleton library and like a skeleton school <laughs> and we like killed them for no reason <laughs> yeah
I think it just happened again where like I saw like a something on Twitter and I commented on it and for some reason people just are liking it for some reason so now I just have a, my phone I just keep seeing hearts pop up and it's like a normal person like yay it's people I hit tweet but I'm like shut up phone <laughs> damn it I don't <laughs> like why is this comment blowing up something about like uh Comparing like how every Cartoon Studio has done something shitty except for Cartoon Network and someone's like Well, there's a shitty thing that happened with a uh, Teen Titans Go and I commented Technically Teen Titans Go is made by Warner Brothers and not Cartoon Network just airs on Cartoon Network And for some reason people are liking it like oh, that's actually a good point That's not Cartoon Network's fault Now I just keep getting likes. Like, it's. Stop liking it. Leave me alone. <laughs> or follow me. I don't know. Is he up there? I don't think so. Okay, yeah, can't go through there. Okay. I want to break these for no reason. I need the money. Make my drill stronger. That's a fish on the wall. Never played Dungeons and Dragons. But it's fun. I feel like Dungeons and Dragons either could be 50 50 fun or boring for me, and I don't know why. You know what that means? What do you mean? The fish on the wall? Or a raid? Fish! Hello, raiders! Welcome! I'm Dakota Redheart. You read your run to it, so give a shut up. Or, hang on, keep TV on, and let's do it anyway. It's okay, you can always sleep through your smile. Okay, hey, hey, tomorrow's just your future yesterday. Hello, what are you playing? Oh, Nami killed me. I am just playing Drill Dozes for the first time because I looked it up best games of the Game Boy or whatever and this came up and then someone suggested it in chat so I'm like, well, I'm playing that. <laughs> what are you playing, Zachalo? No. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I guess I'll save, I guess. Now back. Persona 4? Oh, nice. Was it any fun? I've never played Persona. It looks really neat, though. There's a lot of games I never played. I'm just playing funny drill game. We're drilling shit, and we're looking for diamonds. Not because we're miners, we're like jewel thieves or something. We're just breaking into places looking for shit. Persona is like a. I want to say Persona is like an art, a uh, anthology kind of game, right? Because it seems like sequels that look like different settings and characters. But I'm probably wrong. Persona 4 is the one with a cat in a superhero suit, I think. I remember I got like when I got Smash Bros and they started releasing DLC characters. I bought Joker, even though I had no idea who he was. <laughs> but, but I have Joker. His 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 uh 
His uh, map theme was pretty cool though. Persona 4 Golet is the best intro for any new Persona. In intro for any new Persona player. Ah, it's like a good for first time players. It's like an, it looks neat. Maybe I'll look at the Persona, but I don't know. You disagree? Would you say like, the different Persona would be a better first one? Let's see. Yep, it looks like the hole up ahead could be a pain to get across. You can't go falling down bottomless pits on us. Don't worry, boss. I've got an idea about how to get you across that pit. Drill into the first block and hold down this button the direction you're drilling. Here's all of this sound. I think I missed something. Let's see. Let's see. I just started Persona 4 and its story is just here's all of this weird stuff that makes no sense and no context for it. <laughs> it's like anime Scooby-Doo. Oh, that's a good way to sell it. I like... I mildly like Scooby-Doo. Like, I wouldn't say I'm the biggest Scooby-Doo fan, but I I, I, I don't dislike Scooby-Doo. <laughs> when you bust through a block, you'll keep on trucking to the next one. I think I, I, I started a game called Knuckle Sandwich, and it's just, it's about, it was just like a bunch of random nonsense with no context to, so I kind of gave up on it. <laughs> so I can understand being like, I don't know what's going on. That'll do it, just don't stop drilling, just keep going. Don't hesitate to check the help file if you have any questions, gotcha. Okay. Oh, bottomless pit. I don't know if there's like a thing at Gravity Falls where he's like, None no bottomless, none more bottomless than the bottomless pit! Oh crap. Oh, bottomless pit. When I find all the M diamonds, am I gonna be like, Finally, I have the ball. What are you a joke? My ex-wife still misses me, but her aim is getting better. Get it because marriage sucks. Now I'm just referencing Gravity Falls for no reason. <laughs> How can I get up there? Okay. Okay, I don't think I can get up there right now. Up. Damn poop smoke. Let's see. I know Solon recommended an RPG called Tales of Vesperia to me. They said I might like it, but I don't know. Never really played any like anime A kind of games. Also, I'm at a point where I don't know if I feel like playing a long game. Kind of like, we'll try and play a bunch of short games. Die. Crap. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, it's game over for me. I should look into some more Game Boy games to try. I'd like to try other older consoles. But right now I know how to play Game Boy games, so I'm trying Game Boy. I want to try the Wario games, but like... I don't know if I should just start with four or like play them all. Cause I play three off stream and I liked it. 
my 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 uh completions is braids like door to door. -da. It will look nice in a playlist on YouTube or something. Like, I don't know if I want to play the first couple. They're old. But then again, they might be really good. I'm picky when it comes to old games. I feel like they has to be like... Be like from... Maybe the 2000s or like... Like late 90s is when games start to become more like modern games. Though my theory is why I don't necessarily like older games is because they used to come with manuals because they couldn't fit a story or like dialogue in the games. So there's a lot of missing context when I go in a game blind. Like I think I'm supposed to re research before I play it to understand what's going on. This is like no tutorials or anything. Oh. Oh, it's gotta be this one. Oh. Okay, at least it was forgiving. Okay, it's forgiving. So that's part of the reason why I think I enjoyed more Wario, like Wario Land 3 and uh, Earthbound because I did research, I watched the videos about it before I played it. But yeah, I kind of knew what would happen, but I, I was prepared for the gameplay. Also, I think someone. Someone, a friend I watched watch and tried Wario Land 3 for like one second, but they didn't know what was going on and quit immediately. Maybe if they uh, did research like me, they would understand what, how it works. Kind of like proof for my theory that you need to like know the context of ret some retro games. Shit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh! Game over. Okay, at least this seems a little forgiving. Oh! Come on. Come on, Stinky. Come on. Okay, I probably should get that, but I'm not gonna risk it. Probably needed that, but oh well. Shit. Harvey wants to try... You know what? I kind of want to try the Wii Wario Land game. But I don't know how the motion controls would work on my totally legit Wii... Do Xbox controllers have motion control? I have a, a Switch controller I could use. That has motion controls. But I don't know if that would carry over to my totally legit Wii. I basically just want to play Nintendo and PlayStation stuff. I honestly have no idea what's on Xbox, so I don't really give a crap about Xbox. 
like, oh, Halo's a shooter. I can buy it on Steam. I don't need to really care. Actually, I did buy the Halo collection because someone wanted to play it with me. But uh, I think we they changed their mind. But I have it. It was on sale. Oh. No, not that they changed their mind. We just haven't... Like, have, neither of us brought it up. Maybe we can play it soon. Only thing it's like... I think the first two Halos are two-player. And we wanted to play with four or five people. So that's a little bit of an... Aww. Come on. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. oh god. I'm just I'm booking it. Give me that. Okay. I mean, I need a drink. I could always try a retro Pokemon game, but I just don't know if I like Pokemon, so I kind of don't want to, like, start a Pokemon game and give up. If I don't like it. Ch I always feel bad if I don't finish a game. Like, I gave up on Knuckle Sandwich. I kind of feel a little bad, but honestly, it's just like... I just don't think I like it. <laughs> Though apparently there's a way to skip uh, gameplay battles and just do the story. So I could do that and just finish the story for Knuckle Sandwich. But I don't know if I like the story. So I don't know. And that might just be boring. But I mean, it's too late. I can't like refund it. Because I played longer than four, two hours. So I'm stuck with it. Whoop. Oh. Whoop. Oh. oh, crap. Balls. Well, I got. I guess I gotta pay the man. Okay. May I reach that? Come on. Give me a hit. Assume I need to break these. Uh. Got it. You got it, please. Come on. I don't want that money, damn it. Come here, Stinky. Come here, Stinky, come here. Come over to me. Come to come to chill. Come to the drill do drill dozer. Up the bottomless pit. Come back here. Come here. Up! Oh, that is evil, this pit. This freaking pit. Come on. Hippie. Okay, I'm gonna go over here first. I wanna see what's over here. Oh, I can't go over there. Gotcha. Alright. Oh, these things. That. Yeah. 
Gotcha. Alright, we're doing pretty good. Okay. That looks deadly. Boss! Did you see that weird glowing sphere fly into that statue's head? I knew something was strange about these ruins. The walking skeletons were a dead giveaway. I'll bet that sphere has something to do with it. Figure out a way to get up high and hit the spear from above. Gretch, you might just be onto something for once. Okay. Oh no, is that Flowey? It's Flowey. It's Undertale. Crap. Crap. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. How is this going to work? Damn it. So I gotta get that orb in the center, I think he said. Crap. Did I hit it? I think I hit it for a second. Fuck, I missed. Fucking ball. This is somewhat easy to dodge. Oh yeah, this one's just... This one's gonna take a second for me to figure it out. Oh, that sucked. Oh, no. Am I even hitting it? Guess I gotta drill down. Frick. I'm dying, I'm dying. You know what? Reset. Let's reset. Crap. Yeah, I know I need to hit that blue ball, but I can't get it. Can you hit the blue ball? I think I'm su that's what it says I'm supposed to do. So I think I'm supposed to do I'm supposed to grab onto this thing. Which is supposed to lead me up to it. But I keep missing. So I just gotta keep trying. Just gotta, I guess, time it. And just hold on to the blue ball. Let me blue ball ya. Okay, I missed. Have you ever played Shovel Knight? No. I pretty much played... N n never played any game, most pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I 
If it's a game, I've probably not played it. That's why I'm streaming them. <laughs> That's like a- he like pogo sticks, right? Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to drill down. Yes, that's the- that's your tip. Crap. So I gotta drill down. I guess I gotta use the D-pad for this. Got it! Alright, D-pad it is. Missed. Oh, that only took so little- that took so little damage from it. Missed. Oh. Come on, Flowey. I saw like a video on Twitter where it's saying that like Flowey's theme in Undertale is just uh the fun song from SpongeBob. F is for friends who moved up together. U is for you and me. N is for anywhere and anyways at all I'm here on the deep blue sea. Do 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 Crap. Missed. Come on. Missed. Bastard. We got this. I'll figure- I'll get this chat. Come on. Miss. Go away notifications. It's just like you missing. Damn it. Oh, that should have done it. This really seems like I need to use the D pad. I feel like I'm slower on D-pad. Crap. You know that reset. Start over. Poor health. Crap. Okay, I almost got there. Crap. Come on. Oh, I pushed down. Okay, we did it once.
I'll take it. Oh, I didn't push the button. Sometimes I just have a trouble pushing two buttons at the same time. Like, I don't have hand-eye coordination or something, if that's the right term. Crap. Oh, and I'm pushing the wrong- yeah, I'm pushing the wrong buttons. Crap. We hit it once, though. Missed. Come on, you dang green ball. Kick your butt. Fuck. Army wants to reset again, but I already hit it once, so I don't want to waste that. But it's taking my health. Got it. Okay. So I'm assuming two more hits. Got this. Probably don't got this. He's gonna kill me. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna do. A, we're gonna do another save right here. Probably a bad idea, but I think it's a good idea. Oh crap. Crap. I'm trying. Okay, we're gonna reset. Okay. Ah, hmm. oh, damn it. I wanted that health. Crap. Okay. Damn it. Reset. Crap. You know what? Sit. Okay, whatever. I'm cheating, but I'm gonna win this. Regardless. Crap. Damn it, just want that health. I mean, it doesn't matter in the end. Bastard. Ugh. Okay, reset. We're, we're safe scumming. I kind of wish other games had, like, modern games have save scumming. But, and eh, maybe not. Oh, just missed. Okay, I might just set the... Yeah. Okay, he's gonna swoop down, I think. I thought he was gonna do the other way. Hey, no worries. Took me... Took my larvae self a whole week to get past this boss legitimately. Dang. Oh. Yeah, I bet this would take a while. Normally. And then you probably have, I don't really know how Game Boys work, but the, probably the memory would be lost if you battery dies. But I think cartridges have batteries built in, so I'm probably wrong. Crap. This is just a tricky one. Okay, scum. 
If I could just latch onto there. Damn it. At least I got half his health gone. Ugh. Great. We'll get his bastard. Come on, is that gonna be an upper? To bonk me. Hello, Bane. Welcome back. Nope. Okay, I'm at the safe gun. You shall be bonk. <laughs> you shall bonk a thigh. Damn. Okay. Cheek. I am the cartoon villain who cheats at games. I wonder if there's like a snidely, like a dick dastardly or a snidely whiplash of a VTuber. Or is this like a mustache twirling VTuber villain? I know there are villain VTubers who have like that personality, but like the look. Like the mustache. Be funny. If I ever got a, another outfit, I want a top hat. I don't know if a top would work with my design, though. But a top and a trench coat combo would be cool. I wanted to be Flooper Willy Wonka as a kid. Like their purple trench coats and Willy Wonka's hat. Basically, I think, honestly, I think I, from the characters I liked as a kid, I think I wanted to be a Tumblr sexy man as a kid before they were a thing. <laughs> Except, you know, not the sexy part. I don't think they're sexy, but, you know, they just have, like, a cool vibe with their trench coats and their top hats. <laughs> Willy Wonka to go for Halloween, maybe. Maybe make a trench coat, but with, like, my jacket's design. Damn it. If you do so, I'll go Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Don't eat the chocolate he makes. Don't eat the chocolate he makes. Been in space for too long. Doesn't know. Doesn't know how to make human versions. I mean, I can watch cooking shows on my TV, my space TV. Okay, I think I need to reset. Wrong button. Let me stretch. <clears throat> I get TikTok on in space. I can follow a recipe. It's funny, I just started posting more shit on TikTok and now they're gonna ban it. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. And it was like, it was like, I saw like a TikTok of this guy like getting really mad talking about like how like, how like everyone is like unanimous in the government to like ban TikTok. Yeah, like no one can agree on like like guns and school shootings and shit like why is tiktok the thing everyone is agreeing about when there's so much shit going on in america <laughs> tiktok that's the problem okay <laughs> and it's funny it's like oh we're gonna ban tiktok Unless you sell it to America so we can steal your data. Because it's okay when we do it. Aw, oh, man. I won't say anything cool. Like I ever do anyway. <laughs> Fuck. 
Uh, at least I got two hits on the bastard. Crap. No. Frame rate. Damn it. It's always stairs or like weird platforms that fuck me up in games. Like moving platforms and aiming or whatever. Ah, wrong buttons. Oh boy. Damn it, it didn't push down. I'm pushing down though. Oh, I'm gonna die again. Funny thing is that I don't even think we're that far in the game. That means the bosses are only gonna get harder. Game doesn't read down, I guess. Yeah. That or I just make it excuses for my sh shitty gaming skills. But nah, it's the game's fault. Don't blame the player, blame the game. Game doesn't want your boy to win. They, it's bullying me. It's not fair, I say. Uh, it's bullshit. It's not fair. Oh, hi, Mark. I think you have like five or more, five, four or five more bosses. Okay. Okay. This is, I'd say, is the third or fourth boss for me. So I guess I'm halfway. Yeah, I googled the game. It said it's about like eight-ish hours. So, yeah, that makes sense. But knowing me, it's gonna take longer than that because I'm gonna get stuck at stuff like this. Okay to doing research on Game Boy games. Nah. I, I usually Google length for games because like I want to know how I want to like guess how long I'm going to be streaming it. I kind of like prefer movies or shows where like I know how long a movie and show is. But games it's like unpredictable because it's interactive. But I like to try and guess. I would say this is probably going to be a two three stream game probably depending on how long I play it each time. Let me reset. I like to know what I'm getting into when I do a stream. Oh, we got it. Uh. Oh, crap. crap, crap, crap. Okay. okay, we're gonna save there. Shit. Crap. Okay, this is gonna be tough. So we're doing it with one health. Shit, we gotta do it with one health. No, not. We're doing it with one health. It's okay. Gotcha, son of a bitch. Crap.
crap. It's gonna be an uppy. Okay. Like enough with your uppies, goddamn. Oh, I pitched down. It's just it's just registering as sideways. Okay. At least we got that down. Damn it. Okay, where are you going? Okay, up. I swear, if it does two downs, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> not really, I'm not gonna be mad. I'm having fun. Oh, I pushed the wrong button. I need to push the shoulder button. Come on. Uh. Anyone got any suggestions for other Game Boy games I could play? I want to try more old games. Barney wants to do like weird tie in games, like for movies. But I will try like normal games too. But I also don't want to play anything bad, so that's the thing with tying games. You never know if it's gonna be good or bad. Okay. Crap. Okay. Sims 3 busting out is good. Sims 3 f for the Game Boy? Maybe. I don't know, something about that just sounds funny. Fuck. What's that game like? I want to do like PlayStation games. I need to look into that. Messed up shit. That could have been the run. Sims, but it has a story. Interesting. I wonder why they've never added story to the Sims, like normal Sims. Oh. One more hit, I think we're good. Because people buy the game to torture virtual people. God, yeah, that's true. I was watching like a uh, mutual, a VTuber mutual, uh, uh, to celebrate getting like a milestone on YouTube. They were like streaming on there, trying to drown a hundred Sims characters to celebrate. It's kind of funny. I think I got- I think I watched them to get to, like, 60. Trapping them in pools and waiting for them to drown. Shit. But then I think they played Jaws music whenever they caught someone. Crap. 
Yeah, this is where we're gonna die. Honestly, it might be easier if I stop the safe scumming and just reset from the beginning. What you bonk me for? Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, that should have had it. Just because. Now, that's no reason to injure an animal. An animal man. Crap. Okay. Oop. Okay, we miss. We lost the hit, but that's fine. But. What do you know? You're in space. Well, I know I don't like to get injured, and that's mean. Shit. Here, people have rights too, you know. Wrong button, shit. I just be pushing the wrong button because I have terrible hand eye coordination. If that's the right term I'm looking for, I don't know. Apparently not. If you're in space, damn. See, I can't believe I'm taking this. taking all this abuse. Gonna break my hat by back in half like Batman Bane. Shit. Use extra explosions. You're taking a lot of L's today, Dakota. Yeah, apparently. Wrong button! Wrong button! Stop clicking the B button. Click the trigger button. Oh god. Oh no. That's where I died. Okay. okay. God damn it. But. <gasps> oh no! Oh no, I saved there! Shit! Alright, we're gonna have to start over. Fuck. We messed up. We messed up, chat. I think I saved. So now we have to start over from the beginning. We're gonna have to restart now, I know. I accidentally saved where I constantly die, so I've just been in an instant loop of dying. Damn. We got this though. Might be better doing it this way since I have full health. Missed. I'm just gonna pretend like it's for the best. Damn! Your mind is saying B. No, my mind is saying thumb button. Like, press with your thumb, not your faint, not the trigger. My brain just- my brain just wants my thumb to do something. You know, I'm just gonna remove my finger on it. Crap. No, I need that's a jump button. I need to have my finger on there. Oh, crap. I probably should have. Okay, before we go anywhere. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. We're screwed. We might have to spend more money.
That's one. Okay. Crap. I don't want to take that damage. Uh, that was the down button, I swear to god. Damn, just missed. This is probably gonna be a situation where at this point I'm probably gonna be playing this boss for very an hour. <laughs> We'll probably raid after this. Cause I want some food. Okay. Save. Alright, we're back to where we were. <gasps> Bastard! Okay. Oh, this is the run. This is the run, we did it. R the power of food compelled me to win. Damn it. The power of snacks compelled me. Is it too late to probably eat fried chicken? Yes, but I'm probably just gonna like stay up tonight and cook it anyway. <laughs> I'm hungry. I don't know. Big <laughs> Steve. Like, would you be would you beat this level for a Dakota snack? Yeah. How about two Dakota snacks? Like your skull, your soul, bro. It's never too late to eat chicken. Yeah. Crap. I don't gotta wake up in the morning, I'll be fine. Make homemade pizza dough tomorrow. Pizza, uh, pizza, homemade pizza for dinner tomorrow. Oh shoot, my keyboard was acting up and I didn't know. I was sending messages. What? Oh, I thought you just said XD like I said something funny. And then dot 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 like you're like you're making chicken at 12 at night. So like you honestly could have said nothing and I would have thought you were actually just replying to the conversation. It was it fits so naturally. <laughs> Damn it, wrong button. No, my keyboard was doing it. Damn. But your keyboard, like, responded naturally to the conversation, so that's a smart keyboard. Damn, keyboard knows what it's going to type. Psychic keyboard. One more hit and we're done. We did it! If there's a snether face, screw you, game. It's dead. Yippee!
All right, big stretch. <laughs> oh, and then a lot came loose. You know what would be a funny redeem? What if I what if I did a redeem where it's like this Star Wars spaceship shooting at me? <laughs> and then I blow up. <laughs> That'd be funny. What on earth was that crazy shiny sphere? It looked like some kind of weird energy. The Death Star. <laughs> yes. Yes, I gotta find like a green screen of a laser blasting. And I can edit that probably. Have Princess Leia screaming, no! <laughs> it looked like some kind of weird energy. So is that what was causing all those strange things to happen out in the ruins? Normally, I never believe any kind of hogwash like that, but... I did see it with my own eyes, or at least through the Drill Dozer's camera. Guillermo is really big. He's a big dude. He looks like he'd be a skinny dude, but he looks he's pretty big. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and buy the drill upgrade save and look for some of the raid. This game's pretty fun so far. Let's see. I wanna buy a ship. Okay. Yes. Okay, do I have to equip them? I don't think I do. Yeah, it, it's pretty fun so far. Alright, I think back. Oh, oh, I can get more energy tank later. Okay. Okay, let's save. Okay. Save. Okay. Actually, I could probably save and quit. Save and quit. Okay. Let's see who's on. Let's see who we can raid. Boop, 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 boop. Sure, I got a couple people probably. Possibly, maybe. Who knows? Let's see. See anyone I know? Okay, there's two people I know. Hmm. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch a digger by his if it hollers like, oh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, we're gonna raid W2 Reach. Alright, thank you all for coming. I had a lot of fun tonight. Uh, next stream will be Saturday. I'm going to be watching videos. I'm not sure what videos I'm going to watch. It's either going to be old commercials or cartoons or something. But we're going to watch something. And until then, good night and happy holidays, everyone. Bye.
this is real. Now the games are.